Hey guys, Jake Hamilton here. Thank you so much for clicking on my interviews for Detective Pikachu. Before you get going, go down, hit that subscribe button. I get to talk with some of the biggest stars on the planet week after week, and I want to share those interviews with you. So hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you will know whenever I post interviews with the biggest stars on the planet. But for now, enjoy my interviews with Ryan Reynolds and the stars of Detective Pikachu. Ryan, good to see you again, my nice friend. Nice to see you too, Jake. Uh, the detective mystery genre of movies has always been one of my favorites growing up. It gave us everything from Maltese Falcon to, to Seven, which is one of my favorite movies. Yes. If you could see Detective Pikachu take on another famous cinematic mystery yeah. and try to solve it himself, which one would you like to see him sort of slipped Ooh, into? Ooh, uh, Detective Pikachu mixed with a little sort of that Raiders of the Lost Ark vibe. I like this. Right? I could see him toe-to-toe -to -toe with Indy just trying to find the, the Holy Grail, or <laughs> yeah. I, I, could, I could see this. I would like, there should be like a little meter on the side of it and it's just like Harrison Ford's patience. Right <laughs> you know, on the side of the screen. How do you think out. he yeah. would make it to the end of I Raiders wonder, of the Lost Ark? I, I don't know, He's, I've met him a couple of times, he's a very lovely man, yeah. but I, I don't know, that seems, that would, that would be tough, yeah. Yeah, I, I told him one time, I said, I'm, you know, I'm having a really hard time not geeking out with you, and he leaned in and he goes, Try harder. Yeah. yeah. Get so, over it. Get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is actually when Justice meets Pikachu and he doesn't really know, he kind of freaks out. He doesn't really know how to process yeah. that moment. I would imagine people, when fans are walking around and they see you, most people never expect to see a celebrity really in their life. Yeah. What is the strangest, the weirdest, most memorable way a fan has responded? when seeing you out in public? Oh, I mean, I've had all, I mean, you name it, it's happened. Mm -hmm. But I, I'll say this, like, it's just as weird for me when I see someone that's like a celebrity out in public, like, when I see someone that I love and admire, or even someone I've just watched a lot, yeah. uh, just out in the wild, I'm always like, oh my God. Okay, what's the, what's, who's the, the person <clears throat> you've geeked out with the most? The geeked out with the most, uh, very, very, I was a very, very young man. I was about uh, 18 years old. It was my first month in Hollywood. I just moved to, to Los Angeles and I got in an elevator with Johnny Cash. Oh my God. That was kind of cool. Oh and I my. was too young and, and well, let's be honest, too dumb to really <laughs> appreciate it at the moment. I was just like, oh, that's that old guy, Johnny Cash. <laughs> Uh, and then it was later on I sort of grew. Uh, did you shake his hand or did oh, you say? Oh, I just did numb nuts. I didn't say. You met. You were you were in the presence. I mean, when you're in an yeah. elevator with Johnny Cash, yeah. you say hello. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Yeah. You just do. Of course. Uh, and I didn't do that. So. Ah, well, yeah. hey, you know what? You got to see him. That's more than That's I true. could ever say. That is true. Uh, one of my favorite characters in cinematic history. You may be familiar as a character named Deadpool. Oh, I know. Him. And yes. the thing that I, the thing I love about well. Deadpool is that yeah. he is not shy about commenting on the filmography of Ryan Reynolds. Not at all. What do you think Deadpool would say about Detective Pikachu? Deadpool, what would he say about Detective Pikachu? He'd probably have a real problem with the the, the absolute lack of four-letter words uh, <laughs> in the movie. But overall, Deadpool's actually like a real softie. Yeah. Like Deadpool likes likes the soft stuff. I could see him you know, just weeping hard. I, yeah, I could see him just losing yeah. himself into an episode of My Little Pony. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think he would love yeah. Detective Pikachu. Well, you, you talk about how he would miss the, the absence of the four-letter words. You've done sort of the more family-friendly Deadpool and then redone them a little bit harder 10 years later. Yeah. 10 years from now, hard R, hard Detective R, Pikachu. Hard Detective Pikachu. I like that. What kind of movie is that? Whoa, it's, uh, that's just, that, that, that movie is something that I'm even afraid of at this point. <laughs> Pokemon in the background's going, oh I god, this I know, the Pokemon people right now are, these, these cameras are no longer rolling. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're how do we yeah. tell Jake that he's not getting this yeah, interview when he comes back out? Where did Jake go after his visit to New York? Yeah. He just vanished. That was the last interview he ever did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his cell phone says he's in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> Uh, and that's what happens when you piss off Ryan Reynolds. Right? No, yeah. Pokemon. Oh, just I'm the Pokemon me. people. Me. Just the yeah. Pokemon people. It's Ryan, not mess with them. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations on all your recent happy. You've always yeah, been. I, you've, I've interviewed you for a long time. You've always been, been many incredibly years. many years, and you've always been yeah. very kind to me, and I really do appreciate thank it. Thank you, brother. You're good. Thank guy. you, Jake. Congratulations. Thank good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you too. Uh, you know, I gotta say, I love the detective mystery genre. You know, I grew up watching awesome. everything. My, my parents introduced me to everything from Maltese Falcon, and it's Seven is one of my all-time favorite movies. If you could see Detective Pikachu take on another cinematic detective story, which which case would you like to see him take on? Um, is it The Big Sleep? Is it, is that <gasps> oh, yeah, oh look at that. That. that, or maybe, um, I was gonna say Rear Window, but that's not like a detective movie. That's but, more like, but that's still kind of like a yeah, mystery you thriller. Him, yeah, you could see like suspense, he, yeah. like what's going on. He in looks the outside window. of his window and yeah, <laughs> like his tail's broken, so he's like like he's like like up for like uh, like six months or something. There you go. Yeah. Oh, see, this is gold that's happening in this yeah. interview. Oh my god, I'd love to see the the crossovers. Yeah, yeah. Well, we exist in the crossover world right now, so we're just we're making it happen. Yeah. <laughs> one of the best scenes in the movie is actually one of your scenes, and it's because of you. It's your the first time your character uh, meets Pikachu. 
your reaction, your, your, your inability to be able to sort of like process this moment and what's happening. I'm curious, you guys meet fans and fan, people who don't expect to meet celebrities out and about in public. The most interesting fan interaction you've had, the most interesting way a fan has like interacted or processed meeting you? Oh, one fan, this was years ago though, after I did the get down, um, one fan in New York um, was like, oh, I had to take a picture with you. I'm like, yeah, sure, man. And then he grabbed my arm and dragged me a block downtown. And I was by myself, too, so I was just like, I guess I'm going. You just with let this that dude. happen? I, was, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I guess I'm going with this person. But he literally just dragged me a block downtown, and then we took a picture. And then I was like, okay. What was downtown that wasn't where you guys His were? friend who was waiting with the camera. I mean, it was the strangest thing. And you know like, that oh, they have them six, seven, on phones now. Yeah, I don't know. I just like, my friend has my, I don't know what happened. Between I just was like, I guess I'm going. This story, and then Catherine was saying that there was someone that she has met in like three different countries. It is at the red car. It's been in like three different, like here oh, and then Toronto and then in Tokyo. I've had a couple of those. Yeah. I just signed uh, someone's picture. Someone took a picture with me in Tokyo and I just signed it in here in New York like uh, yesterday. I mean. Yeah, I mean, that, that's impressive that's, to that's me. cool, but is there any part of you that goes like, why are you also here? I definitely, I'm, I'm just like, how, how did you get here so fast? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's where I, what I, where my mind goes. Um, but if anything, I, I'm just like, that's the sweetest thing. It's, like, it's, it's super impressive. See, yeah. my, I see, I'm a cynical newsman, and I, you know, and I, <laughs> I work on like the, the news show all the time, so it's nothing, usually nothing but hard hitting, you know, serious stories. I so imagine. I'm like, is this the beginning of a hard? Is this like a Dateline special? Yeah, <laughs> it's about to happen. Um, you know, I, you know, for a lot of people who grew up with Pokemon and Pikachu, the idea of going and solving a mystery with their childhood favorite character would be a dream come true. If you were going to solve a mystery with the childhood favorite character, the one you grew up with, who would you be roaming the streets with? Oh, well, I mean, I grew up with Pokemon, so this is definitely, I've always wanted a Pokemon partner. I've always wanted to, I mean, I feel like I'm living a lot of millennials dream, mm -hmm. and also young children. Yeah. I always forget that, like, kids are gonna see this movie too, because yeah. I always just think, me, my yeah, friends. It's just us. Hey, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly yeah. But, we're um, like shoving kids while we do the Pokemon Go, like, yeah. we're like in the park in Chicago, we're like shoving the little kids I see, aside. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I see grown yeah. people just playing on the game yeah. all the time. People like, do you see like the news story? People were getting hit by cars because they they were looking the at their phones. Yeah, yeah, the app nuts. is covered in all these warnings now. Yeah. And I, but I didn't, I wasn't playing it when that was all happening. So when I first got on it, I was just like, why are all these warnings about? Obviously, yeah. I'm gonna look where I'm going. Yeah. I don't need all this. But um, this is right before you got grabbed don't... and then drug across New York City. Exactly. That thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you're a good guy, and I look forward to. It was a blast meeting you in Hawaii uh, a couple of months ago. And, you too, you know, dude. Congratulations on everything. Thank you so yeah, much. Keep making great movies. It makes my life so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> I have always loved the detective mystery genre of movies. I yeah. mean, everything from Maltese Falcon and Seven is one of my all-time favorite movies. If you could see Detective Pikachu and another famous like detective movie and have him try oh, to solve the mystery, oh, what do you so want? So when right before we started filming, I watched uh, Casablanca. Yes. Could you imagine? <gasps> Oh, and then but him in black and white. Yeah. Oh my god. It would god. be beautiful. Oh. Maybe the sequel we go back in time. It's I'm, a period. Just piece. like Warner Brothers. <laughs> if you're not watching this right now, I mean, what this this is gold. Yes. Oh my god, I could totally see him like him and Humphrey together. Oh. I know. Oh. I would love that. It's gold. Yeah. One of my favorite scenes actually in the movie is uh, the first time that Justice meets Pikachu and watching his reaction. It's one of those moments where like I love that. He, scene. It's so great because he doesn't really know how to process this moment, which I kind of equated to. I'd imagine when fans meet you guys. When people like see you guys on the street, most people never imagine they're gonna ever meet a celebrity. What is the most, I don't wanna say weirdest, but the most interesting <laughs> fan interaction that you've ever had? The most interesting fan? Yeah. Well, last night I just met a girl who I had met at Toronto at TIFF for Ben is Back premiere, and mm -hmm. I met her in Japan for mm -hmm. the Pokemon premiere, and then she was here last night at the Pokemon premiere. I thought that was, that was amazing. What was she? I don't know. But I thought that was so cool. So I mean, there's there's plenty, but that was one that I thought was like that just happened. That's that's kind of okay. So I have a question for you then. And with, with all due respect to this young lady, is there a part of you that goes, wait, why are you in all these different places around the world where I also <laughs> happen to be? No, maybe she's just a traveler I racking guess up so. the and miles. So, yeah, free those frequent flyer miles. She has <laughs> got to be flying. That is insane. <laughs> you know, uh, one of my all-time favorite movie characters is Deadpool. I know. And so, so I'm a big Deadpool. fan, and I one of the things I love about Deadpool is that he is not shy of talking about the filmography of Ryan Reynolds. Right. What would Deadpool say about Detective Pikachu? Oh, man. Did you ask Ryan yet? I did. Yeah, I what did, did he ask say? Him. What did he say? Uh, he said that it would be two things. He said that Deadpool would be upset that there weren't more four-letter words in the movie. <laughs> 
and to which we then talked about the R-rated version of Detective, of Detective Pikachu. Pikachu. But he also said that Deadpool's a big softie and he'd probably be crying the whole time. I know. Yeah. That's probably true. I think Deadpool would be like, he's so cute. Yes. You know, and I just, actually... Just be, uh, you would yeah. see like, like, uh, the, like tear stains. Uh, like on in his under, mask. Yeah, on his mask. I definitely the eyes. think that, yeah. For a lot of people, the, the dream of... I mean, they grew up with, with Pikachu and so the idea of like solving a mystery with their childhood favorite character would be a dream come true. Right. If you were going to solve a mystery with your all-time favorite childhood character, okay. who would you be roaming the streets with? Who? Oh, man. Well, I was going to pick... I would I would still pick Psyduck. I know. Oh, you'd, you'd stay within yeah, the Pokemon world. I would world. totally stick with Psyduck. So you I grew mean, up with, with... I grew up with Pokemon. I was a fan. Do you hate me that whenever I say that I didn't grow up with? No, that, of that, course not. No? But I also find it... You know, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. like oh, a yeah. big... It's you just a escape part it. of our lives. Yeah. That's how I feel. But um, no, I would still pick Psyduck. He's my yeah. guy. I look at you. I love that. You're so fun to talk to. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you many, many times. Oh, it was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. I'm glad you liked the movie. Very much so, so I gotta be honest with you, I did not grow up with Pokemon. All my friends were into it, it just wasn't something that really connected with me, and I love this movie. Oh, and awesome. And I imagine when you're making a movie like this, you have to appease to both groups of people. Who takes a priority? The people who already love this stuff, or maybe someone like myself who kind of needs to be convinced as to why it's so great? Uh, I mean, in all honesty, the, the priority was to get, the, get it right for the fans, mm -hmm. get it right for people who really care grew up on it. I mean, it's been around for over 20 years. Uh, it's a worldwide phenomenon, so we wanted to get that right. And we worked very closely with the Pokemon Company and all the original creators to do that. But it's also, uh, we, we knew we wanted to use it as a way to open up uh, the world to the uninitiated, like yourself, uh, and and hopefully introduce them to uh, Pokemon. And if not, it's still a great story, yeah. and it's still a movie, uh, on its own and, and has a great character journey and amazing themes of hope and second chances and connection and it, it works it works by itself. Uh, absolutely. And you know it's interesting, the general consensus amongst movie fans is that they're the whole video game adaptation has been found wanting over the past <laughs> few years, you could say. Why hasn't there been, I'd argue up to this point, a great video game adaptation? Why do they keep getting it wrong and what did you do to get it right? I don't know. That's a tricky question. I'm not even going to go there. I, I have no idea. Uh, I'm asking you, just, nor, just call out all other directors. I will never do that. Uh, by the way, we didn't even think about it like that. Mm -hmm. I certainly didn't. You know, they, they, I knew about Pokemon through my kids, mm -hmm. and it's not just a video game. There's there's a huge storyline to it. There's this. There's TV series. There's over 20 anime movies. There's like a... Card game. Card games. There's a real mythology. There's a real universe to it. So there's a lot of storytelling uh, at its roots. So yeah. we didn't we didn't have that problem as much because uh, when, when I came on board, Detective Pikachu, which is a video game mm -hmm. that was in development in parallel, had a really strong central character and it had a nice human story to it. So... Uh, for us, it was just the, the adaptation of it was still kind of rooted in storytelling. Mm -hmm. Which is why I think it succeeds the way it does. Obviously, I've always felt that the um, detective mystery genre of movies has always been one of my favorites. It's given us everything from Maltese Falcon all the way to Seven, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. Nice. If you could see Detective kid Pikachu... Kid-friendly kid, Totally kid-friendly family <laughs> film. Um, if you could see Detective Pikachu take on another famous cinematic detective story, which one would you like to see him try to solve? <laughs> Another famous one yeah. besides Seven. Besides, or could it be Seven? Him chasing John Doe. Listen, full disclosure: there is a, I mean, there is some Seven inspiration in there. This is gonna be weird. Wait, I can't really, tell if you're being serious or not. I'm actually being serious. Yes, please tell me about. I don't this. know. Like, I hope I don't ruin anything. Uh, you've seen the movie, so there's a scene with Mr. Mime, mm -hmm. which is an interrogation yeah. scene. When I originally pitched it, uh, I took a frame from Seven. Um, and uh, replaced, uh, <laughs> it's, the, the frame is Brad Pitt with his head down and the Mr. Mime and Pikachu next to him as a conceptual piece to pitch the Pokemon company about doing a Mr. Mime interrogation scene. So oh the seven thing is is there. It's totally inappropriate for kids, so yes. I never bring it up. This You're the first person so I've ever talked happy. about it. Wait, so when you brought it up to the, the people at Pokemon, did they go... Is that seven? The the president of the Pokemon company came by and it was kind of showing him artwork of like, you know, the vision of what it could be. And uh, there was this frame grab from seven and Brad Pitt's got his head down and we, the, the 
<laughs> the, the art department put Mr. Mime in there. And we just, that yeah. was the interrogation scene. That was the pitch. For yes. The oh, that makes me so, you have no idea how happy that makes okay, me. Okay, good. On that note, that gives me the okay, rap. Good. Seriously, <laughs> hey, man, seriously, on behalf of a guy that genuinely didn't grow up with this stuff, thank you, an amazing film. Uh, thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank have you. a great day. You too, thanks.